Well, I got this together. I got the manifold in. I got the brakes back on. And they float like they're supposed to. I didn't want the tubing to bind on them. I had to put this blue tubing on here. This part that goes here. I had these little little 45s on there. And I'll show you why I had to take them out. But these these were in here. Like I said, I had to take this out, put this blue tubing in here. And I uh, put the wire things on here. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, that was done with this, um, this tool I made, I'll give you a, a link to where I got the idea from. So let me, uh, let me show you how this works. I'm going to pause you while I hook up the air tank. So with this being upside down, this black piece right here that's the disc that it's going to grab onto on both sides so these are going to this is going to move in and find the the grabbing point for those Here it releases, and here is where the air, when the air is applied, it's going to grab onto that. So I got the uh, little air tank here. I'm only running about 20 pounds. Happens pretty quick. See, it moved over. I'm going to move it back. So anyway, that, uh, that locks up good. I was trying to... There's a little bit of play in this belt and I was just rotating it just a little bit but when you apply the pressure that locks up good can't move that at all the uh, the other part the top piece that rotates where these go through I got that uh, band on there there's two bands one on front one on the back and after seeing how good 
this system locks up, I realize that that band is not locking up as much as it could. I mean, it's, it's got some holding power to it, but it doesn't have near the holding power as these things do. Now, of course, this one on the side, that's a three-quarter piston. These are one inch, and there's four of these. And there's only two of these, one on each side. So I might take the time to um, see if I can't do an improvement to that. Okay, so here's the tool. And what happens is you... You put the wire on there, then you wet, wrap it around this piece, and then wrap it around this piece, and then you pull it back, and it makes it tight on the front of it. Now, this is a lot bigger than what I really needed, but I didn't know because um, I just went by the pictures that I saw. But this is um, about two and a half inches long here. That's a half inch diameter. And this pin, that's an eighth inch pin. That's half inch wide. And that's about uh, five sixteenths from the bottom. Yeah, if you go to the center of the pin, it's about three eighths. There's an adjustment here. I only use about that much. You don't need all that. All you need is from here to there. That's about an inch. That's just a threaded rod. I drilled a hole through there, popped a pin through it. Put a thread on this piece of stock and that pulls it up like a puller. There's a little, little groove on the front of there. Hold the wire. But before the this is what it looks like after it's done which is really nice because what I had before was I had this piece of be this bigger piece of hose and I had it wrapped around here then I had a hose clamp on it because these hose hose clamps won't go too small so I had to use this other piece of hose as a spacer so the hose clamp will tighten down that's what I had before and I did this a long time ago but I sensed had this set up and I replaced it with this which is a lot neater looks more professional but the the issue I had with this was that this was a eighth inch NPT with a quarter inch hose and I had this installed you see I got the piece of wire on that one too But the uh, issue I had was when I put this hose onto here, it wasn't tight. 
And when I tried to clamp it with this, it wouldn't clamp down. Now I could have probably tried the wire and it might have worked and it might not have worked, but the uh, ultimately the issue is that the hose, the hose is the right size, but this is some Japanese brand I bought. And I guess when they said it was a quarter for a quarter inch hose, Maybe with some kind of Japanese hose, I don't know. But anyway, I ordered, I since ordered two more from a different company. So maybe they'll be the right size. So this is the, the wire I used. I had this uh, safety wire that I was using from Harbor Freight. And it's about a 32nd diameter. I mean, it works, but it's a little too stiff for for this small a hose, this quarter inch hose. So I got some 22 thousandths wire, 20, 22, and that works out a whole lot better. It's a little more flexible. For this smaller hose, I mean this uh, this 32 from Harbor Freight or any other company, you could get it from Amazon or whatever. It's safety wire. They use them on, uh, you know, for for tying nuts together to keep them from coming loose. But uh, the 30 30 thousandths was a little thick, and the uh, 20 thousandths, 25 thousandths. 20,000 somewhere in that range worked out great but I think I'm going to look at that uh, that top clamping system I had the uh, the one half disc and the other half disc and they clamped together and they clamped down at the same time and it doesn't seem I, I was able to rotate it a little bit I mean I had to I had to push on it but I was able to move it, but the thing is, you you you, you don't want it to move at all. Now I uh, I was getting ready to set this up so I could try it out, but I'm I'm a little hesitant right now because I know it'll work, but you know it always has you always have that doubt in the back of your mind where you know it it could fail and you know it could fail. But you don't want it to fail because, you know, it could it could bind up something and cause a lot of damage. So I'm going to take the time to look at that, see if I can't do something with that. So it's another delay, but it's going to make a better product in the long run. So that's where we stand now. But the, the rest of it looks good. It clamps down tight. And I got the mounts made for it, and I'm ready to put it on the machine. I just got to get this clamping system right, because I know if I put it on the machine, I'm going to want to try it out. And it's ready to go, but now let me look at this a little bit. All right. Bye.